Hello everyone. This video is about introduction to translation. The other word for translation is slide or sliding motion. By definition, a translation is a transformation that moves every point of a figure by the same distance in a given direction without rotating or flipping it. There are some other words that we need to remember when we uh, talk about transformation. That is pre-image. When we say pre-image, it means that's the original figure. While the word image is the transformed or the new picture. So let's take this first example right here. Graph the image of the given pre-image using the transformation given. Translate the figure 7 units up and 5 units left. So this original picture that we have here will be labeled as our pre-image. So again, when we say pre-image, it means that's the original picture. Since we say we are going to translate it, translate again means we slide the object. So I have here this triangle on um, this piece of paper. So what are we going to do is we are going to slide this triangle seven units up and five units left. So I go ahead and move this five, seven units up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then five units left, one, two, three, four, five. So that means this is where the translated figure is gonna sit. So we can go ahead and say that this is the first um, vertex. This is A right here. It corresponds to A. So we can go ahead and name this as A prime. And then this vertex that we have here corresponds to B. So we're going to name this as B prime. And then this vertex right here corresponds to C. So we can name this as C prime. So again, as you can see in the picture, we did not rotate the triangle. This um purple triangle right here, we did not flip it. What we did was we we actually just moved it seven units up and five units left so that we can go ahead and draw the triangle right here and we can label this as our image. So I'm just gonna write image as the label for this one so that we can go ahead and uh, determine the coordinates of the image. Okay, so looking at this, our A prime is located on negative 3 and 5. So that's negative 3, 5. Our B prime is negative 3, 2. So that's negative 3, 2 right there. And our C prime is 0, 2. So I'm just going to write 0, 2 right here. So that is what we mean by translation. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Graph the image of the given pre-image using the transformation given. Translate the figure six units left and three units down. You don't have to um, cut a piece of triangle and move it across left, right, up, or down. We can also just move this, um, the, this each of these vertices given the trans, uh, translation that we have here. So we can go ahead and say that from A, we are moving six units left. So that would be, each of these will be moved six units left. So we're gonna start with A. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is where our, um, that's the first movement right there. And then we say we are moving three units down. So that's one, two, three. So this is the location for our a prime because again we moved six places to the left and three places down now we do the same thing for b to get the b prime so that would be six left three down so one two three four five six three down one two three so this is where our b prime is gonna sit and our c prime is the same thing each point shall be translated six units left and three units down. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, and three units down. 
one, two, three. So this is where our C prime is gonna sit. So then this is our image. Again, we remember that the original picture is named as the pre-image. That means it's the original figure and the translated figure is called the image. So that we can go ahead and determine the coordinates of the image. So starting off with a prime, so that would be negative four and two. So I'm gonna write negative four, two. Our b prime is on zero and positive two, so zero, two. And our c prime is on negative two, negative one. So negative two, negative one. We can also test this by um, putting this triangle right here and testing it, uh, whether it really sit on this spot right here when we translated six units left and three units down. So we go ahead and say six to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then three units down. That's one, two, three. So the triangle sits on this spot right here after we translated it, six units left and three units down. Did you get the same answers as this? Yay! Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next example right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. We're supposed to graph the image of the given pre-image using the transformation given. Translation, three units left and five units down. So I'm just showing you another picture here that it doesn't have to be a triangle. It can be any shape. So this one right here is a uh, trapezoid. So then we can go ahead and again, the rule here is that we are going to translate it three units left and five units down. So each of these uh, vertices of the trapezoid here shall be moved three left and five down. So let's start with A, one, two, three, five down, one, two, three, four, five. So this is where our A prime is gonna sit. And then um, the next one right here is our B, three left, five down, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So this is where our B prime is gonna sit. Our C prime, five, I mean, three left, five down. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five. So this is our C prime spot. And then for the D prime, three left, five down. So that's one, two, three. And then we go one, two, three, four, five. So this is our D prime. So that we can go ahead and draw the image by connecting these four vertices here. So again, we will label this as our image. That's the new picture after translation. The original picture is called the pre-image. And that, that means it's the original picture. So we can go ahead and determine the coordinates of the image. Okay, so we're gonna start with A. So our A prime is on negative one, zero. So that's negative one, zero. Our B prime is on one, zero. So that's one, zero. Our C prime is on positive two, negative two. So positive uh, two right there, and then negative two. And our D prime is on negative two, negative two, negative two, and that's a negative two. So we can go ahead and test this to see if this image is correctly uh, placed on the right spot when we translate it three units left and five units down. So that's the pre-image right there. And so we are supposed to move this um, pre-image three units left and five units down. So that would be one, two, three, and five units down. One, two, three, four, five. So this time around, it's sitting on its right spot. Right. Again, just by looking at this, we can tell that the image and the pre-image are pretty much like uh, they're they're um, 
orientation is pretty much the same thing, which means that we did not rotate it. We did not flip it around. It was just moving um, left and down. So that's three units left and five units down. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.